Getting into real estate, becoming a real estate agent or real estate investor has become one of the most searched topics back in 2021. And what I haven't seen is an accurate video describing exactly what you want to know to know which profession is better, whether it's an agent or investor, which one's right for you, which one makes more money. By the way, to become a real estate investor, you don't need thousands of dollars, FYI. But in this video, we're gonna go over the three factors of how to make money as an agent, as an investor, and which profession wins pound for pound. <clears throat> So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, welcome. My name is Raul Balufe and I have a wholesale business. We flip properties, wholesale properties, and um, I help people do the same, either build rental portfolios and I want to help you do it in less time and make more money than I ever have and ever will. So whether it's becoming a real estate agent or real estate investor, what we really have to do is smash that like button so you can actually help a like button that's in need. And for just one click of a button for just 10 milliseconds of your finger, you will help an innocent like button be loved. Now to the video. So before we get into the, the factors of money and which one's better, real estate agent, real estate investor, let's go over really quick what is an agent and what is an investor. So a real estate agent is essentially a real estate professional that is licensed by your state um, by taking a test and doing a course. And then what a real estate agent does is either list properties for sale so you can represent a seller. If there's a homeowner looking to sell their property, you can go out there meet them, love them, hug them, have them sign a listing agreement. Then you list the property for sale and earn a commission. And the other part of real estate is working with buyers. So you can sign, you know, find buyers, show them 3,222 houses, um, have them get um, rejected on 3,000 offers and hopefully do one deal. And then you get a commission on that. So that's what a real estate agent does. There's a bunch of things that real estate agents can do um, that I'm also not describing, but listing agent and buyer's agent is the most important. As for a real estate investor, there's a couple different forms of it. We talk a lot in this channel about wholesaling real estate, which is a form of investing. You could also fix and flip properties like you see on TV. And hopefully you get on the TV channel, get a girlfriend, get divorced and become very famous. There's, um, holding properties, which is buying rent. There's, um, you know, just, just hard money lending, investing. There's a bunch of different types of things for real estate investing. Now, so let's go into the three categories of earning money in both these professions. And then we're going to go a little bit in depth on each category, which one will win. And then at the end, we'll come out with a winner. So the three categories of making money as an agent, as an investor are as follows. One, fast money, two, passive money, and three, long-term wealth or long-term money. All right. So for fast money, let's talk about real estate agents. What I mean by fast money is how fast can you get in the game? How fast can you become a realtor and make money? What's, you know, not all of us have six months of expenses and, you know, mommy and daddy to give us a ton of money to just live and just chill. If you do, that's awesome. You know, both these careers are for you. Even if you don't, both these careers can be for you, but let's just go over the differences. So for real estate agents, it takes an average of 10 to 12 weeks for a buyer to make a decision on a property to then have it accepted, put an offer on, have it accepted with you, then it takes about 60 days after that to close. In fact, according to RealtyNA.com, they say that realtors should have an average of 18 months of savings before you can see profit in your new real estate agent business. For investors, in this case, wholesalers, which is the fastest term for fast money, which is the fastest uh, career for fast money and in investing, it took me three months to get my first deal, and many of our um, salespeople in our business take some between one to three months to get a deal. But I also have friends that took them nine months, six months. So if we average it all out, we'll say it takes an average of six months to get your first wholesale deal if you take the right steps. So therefore, in this game, in the fast money game, wholesale real estate wins in the fast money department. So real estate investor, one, realtor, zero. All right, so let's get into the passive money category. Let's start with agents. So the best way to make passive money as a real estate agent is really just to have agents under you making offers, getting listings, and then getting a piece of the commission. So there's things called teams, real estate teams. So once you become an agent and you do a couple deals, people want to learn from you. And when they learn from you, you say, okay, join my team. I'll help you out. And then I'll get a piece of your commission. So the more people you get on your team, the more people start working with you and for you and Based on their efforts, you get a piece of their commission and that can be really, really passive. So if you have about 10 agents under you and each of them do about one transaction every month and they make 3% commission and then you make 
let's say 30% of their commission. So you can make 30% of their commission without doing very little, without doing work or maybe doing very little work. So I really like that for the real estate agents. They grow huge teams and they make a lot of passive money. That's what a real estate broker typically does, but you can be an agent and have a team under you. And what all a real estate broker is, is just an agent that got a license to be a broker after being an agent for about two years. You can be eligible to take a test, become a broker, start your own brokerage firm, and then legally have a bunch of agents under you. But there are, I've seen real estate agent teams make up to 50% of the commission of the people working under them. So as an investor, you can get really creative here if you're a wholesaler or if you, if you have a little bit of cash, but if you have no cash, this is where I'm gonna, just like let's say you become a real estate agent with no cash, with zero money. This is like being an investor with zero money in the passive thing. So how can you make passive money as a real estate investor? So you can do what's called a subject to transaction, which means that you could essentially take over someone's property and make payments on their behalf to their mortgage. So instead of them making a $500 check for their house every month and they wanna get rid of this house, you can say, hey, I'll take over, I'll make the $500 check for you, I'll rent it and I'll make an extra $500 a month. And that's one way to make passive income with zero money as an investor. As an investor or wholesaler, you get access to great discounted properties and which means that if you get a property that is worth 200, you get it under contract for 80,000, a lot of times investors can come in, put the whole $80,000 for you, you guys split the deal 50-50, and all of a sudden, you just bought this house, you guys flipped it, you made $40,000, and you go 50-50, and it took zero of your money. So for a number, for passive money, I will choose also real estate investor wins again, strikes again, bam, bam. By the way, scarf game hot. I got the most amount of retention when I was wearing my scarf. This one actually we got from Tulum, Mexico, and I really love this scarf, so today's gonna be scarf day for you. All right, so now let's get into the long-term wealth play of becoming a real estate agent. The best way to grow long-term wealth as an agent is number one, to invest in properties, but let's put that aside. The other way to be, have long-term wealth as a real estate agent is kind of following what we we're talking about when it comes to building teams. So if you're an agent and you start doing deals, you can uh, recruit people to work under you. You get a piece of their commission. They recruit people. You get a piece of their commission and it's great. But what I've noticed is if you look at, if you've seen the shows like Million Dollar Listing or if you see people like Ryan Serhant, although they're crushing it and they're making a lot, a lot of money, I'm talking in the millions and millions of dollars that they're keeping every year. Notice how they're still the face of their real estate team. And what, what that shows me is that as a real estate agent, to really, really make it, you must really like the game because you're probably always gonna have to be somewhat involved in that real estate agent business. Whether it's um, recording videos to be content, your marketing pieces, maybe you have to work with top clients, maybe you gotta show some top client houses, things like that. So if you see people as million dollar listing, you see that they're still the face of their business, they're still showing properties, they're still working. So if you like that route, then absolutely becoming a real estate agent and um, staying in that game would be great for you. There have been two agents that I've studied that really got out of the day-to-day -day and never showed a house again and are crushing it. One of them is Gary Keller, owner of Keller Williams, which is a billionaire at this point. And he was able to go from agent to broker, to business owner, to CEO, to billionaire. And now he, I don't think he has to show a single house ever again. Um, another one is Tom Ferry. Tom Ferry acts very little in real estate. He has a business and education company, but started as an agent, as a then went to a broker, then business owner, now has a ton of content on YouTube. I highly recommend you guys watch Tom Ferry's channel. He is amazing. I watch a ton of his podcasts and stuff. He's, uh, and my favorite video of his is, uh, I, I drew a blank, but Tom Ferry has a video of how to split your commission check. It's amazing, watch it. And the good thing about a real estate brokerage is that if you create a real estate brokerage, meaning a real estate company, it can sell for three times multiple on the market. So if you make a hundred, let's say you make a million dollars a year in your real estate team, you could sell that for $3 million a year. Now I would Google it and there's a lot more than what I just said into it, but overall, I really like the long-term wealth play as an agent because you have so many different options. As an investor, for the long-term wealth play, you can also grow your team of people to do wholesale for you. You can have sales agents and um, and you can have sales agents, people buying houses for you. And then you can have dispositions agents, which are people who sell the houses for you for a profit. Now, what I like about the wholesale business and the long-term wealth play is that you don't really have to be the face. Our team is constantly buying and selling. We're, pre we're pretty much getting a contract 
we're getting a house every other day in our real estate wholesale business. I'm not involved. I don't talk to sellers or buyers. People don't care if I exist or not because I'm not the face. I'm not on a TV show. And as, since we don't have to go and show houses and meet people, people don't really care if I'm around or not. So I really like that. If you really want a passive long-term wealth play, growing a wholesale team could be a little bit more passive if you don't want to be involved in the day to day. What I don't like about the wholesale business is that it typically cannot sell. There are companies who have franchised it and been able to sell certain parts of it. But overall, a real estate brokerage, growing a real estate brokerage that does $10 million a year and a wholesale business does $10 million a year, the brokerage will sell a lot easier on the market and make you a nice payday when the wholesale business cannot. So for long-term wealth in a business perspective, I have it as a tie. Well, in my book, overall, becoming a real estate investor wins the card for us today. It gives you more odds to make money and faster. So if you want to continue to learn about this, you're in the right place. We put out three videos a week talking about real estate, agents, investing, wholesaling, how you can make money on your next flip, how you can get into flipping and anything all of the above. And also I'll be coming to you soon with some more scarves. Thank you guys for watching until next time.